Hey guys, so I've had a few questions from people wanting to know how I record my iPad screen and um, here's the best way to do it. The best way to mirror your iPad to your desktop and it's using a program for Mac users at least that comes standard um, and that's a QuickTime player. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hook up your USB charger with your iPad to your computer. All right, then you're going to want to head over into your applications and uh, open up QuickTime Player. Oh, it's it's showing it's already mirroring uh, my iPad, so let me redo it. So from scratch, go into your QuickTime Player, and at the top left, you're going to want to select New Movie Recording under File. So there's a screen recording, audio recording, it can do all of that, but we're going to want to do the movie recording specifically. So you see next to the red record button in the middle, uh, you see my arrows right there. I'll click it and then in the drop down menu under the camera you're gonna wanna select the iPad instead of the HD webcam or whatever else you might have going on over there. You might not even have a webcam and it would just be a blank screen. So once you switch over to that you'll see all the pop-ups for the iTunes and all of that garbage. You can close it out and now you have your iPad being mirrored within a little window. Uh, from here, you can increase the size uh, by hitting the expand button. And now you can use whatever capture software you would like to capture it and record it and save it and upload it and do whatever you got to do. All of that's up to you. I use, personally, I use OBS. It's a free open source program. So check it out definitely if you're interested in doing that. But yeah, now you can see. Um, that the iPad it works fairly quickly there's you know some millimeter uh, delays millisecond delays not millimeter um, so you might see that but the colors are mirrored exactly which uh, which is exactly what I was looking for because using other programs like air server you'll get nasty gradients it just doesn't record in 32-bit uh, or whatever for some reason. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, leave the comments down below. And thanks for watching.